One of the things I've been most excited about over, I would say, the last five years is this increased energy around the conversation about the theological interpretation of Scripture. Partly because it's, it's a place where f I think philosophy and theology and biblical studies intersect. And so I find that a really energetic uh, and energizing conversation. And it strikes me that what's at stake in the theological interpretation of Scripture is precisely owning up to the fact that we bring presuppositions to our interpretation of any text. In other words, the theological interpretation of Scripture also rejects the myth that we can just be sort of quote-unquote objective, passive, neutral readers of texts. You always come to a text with a horizon, a frame, a, a set of expectations that you've been inculcated into, and so you read in light of that frame. And um, I still feel like uh, Marcus Bachmuel, in a way, has, has framed this really pointedly for me, where in a, in a great little essay he asks, you know, who is the implied exegete of the New Testament? And he says, it's a disciple of Jesus. It's a follower of Jesus. It's not a German academic. And so, in other words, if you are really going to be able to read the scriptures well, you have to read from this place and this posture and this stance as a disciple of Jesus. Well, that means you have to think about what are the right horizons of expectation to bring to a text. I think that cuts against the grain of both um, certain liberal and very conservative habits of reading scripture as if we did that neutrally or without presuppositions. Um, that to me feeds a lot into my interest in the fall of interpretation, which is to say we always interpret from a tradition. We always interpret uh, um, in light of a heritage. We, we always uh, um, engage in interpretation with debts to some community of practice and some people. And um, I, I'd be really excited if the philosophical articulation of the conditions of interpretation that I undertake in the fall of interpretation could in a way just be seen as shoring up the arguments that are being made about the theological interpretation of scripture. I, in so many ways I think kind of the future of faithful interpretation and practice are at stake in that conversation and um, I, I try to I'm not a theologian per se, and I'm not a uh, certainly not a biblical studies scholar, but I am a philosopher who is very, very interested in how this hits the ground. I'm a Christian philosopher who wants to think about what um, this d discourse about hermeneutics means for the church, and to me that that intersects with the theological interpretation of Scripture. So. Um, I would love it if, if the fall of interpretation could be in the mix of that conversation going forward.